Hey everyone, it's Morgan here from the New York, New Jersey Hospital Outreach Team. For those of you who don't know what the Hospital Outreach Program is, we are a group of people who bring fun camp activities, including games, arts and crafts, different projects, all into the hospital for you guys to enjoy. Today with me, I have two very special friends of mine, and their names are Annie and Chelsea. Hi, Annie and Chelsea. Hey, everyone. Some of you may recognize us from New York or even New Jersey hospitals if you're in that area. Um, and that could be at the clinics and some of the playrooms at the hospital or even right at your bedside. You may also recognize us from being up at camp in Ashford for either a summer session or even for a family weekend. All of us here at the Home Wall Game Camp has had so much fun creating virtual programming opportunities for you all to enjoy, and we're so happy that you've been able to join us today. We've had so much fun with trivia and sing-along and even juggling with the clowns. Thank you for joining us and for being a part of all the safety, respect, and love that camp shares. For today's video, we are going to be hosting a Facebook-wide cabin chat. Cabin chat is a tradition that we like to have at camp for an entire cabin to do each night of their summer session. So how cabin chat works is that every night a whole cabin comes together and they like to reflect on their day that they had at camp. And then a counselor will ask them a question. So sometimes the questions can be really, really silly and funny. And then other times the questions can be more serious. Um, so then now in true camp fashion, we always like to have some cabin chat rules that we go over. So I wanted to open up this time to see if anybody knows one of the cabin chat rules that we have. Morgan, I do. I do. Yeah, thanks. Um, so the first cabin chat rule is challenge by choice, which means if you want to answer the question, you totally can. If you don't, that's fine, too. Awesome. Thank you, Annie, for sharing that. That cabin chat rule that we have. Let's see. Oh, we're getting some very nice responses and comments in our chat right now. <laughs> Does, anybody else know? <laughs> yes. Does anybody else know one of the cabin chat rules? Hmm. Hi, Steph. <gasps> oh, hi, Bailey. Uh, Jane goes here. <laughs> oh, I see Emma. Emma posted a comment. She said, don't put your hands in the bait tank. That's one of the rules, right? <laughs> well, Emma, that is a great rule that we like to follow when we are down at boating and fishing. Very, very important to remember. For any of you that have fish tanks at home, don't put your hands in there. <laughs> Stephanie said popcorn style, which is Ooh. definitely true. So um, it doesn't have to go in any specific order. Whoever wants to answer the question can. Followed by Jesse um, saying that one of my favorite rules is that only one person can speak at a time. So though it's popcorn style, we want to make sure that only one person is speaking at a time, which is also known as a one mic rule. Right. And along with that, I know this is a little bit different for all of us because we're on Facebook. So you guys can just feel free to comment your responses um, on the post. And then if you happen to like with what what somebody has to say, then you can always like or love um, the comment. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah, definitely. We wanted to clarify that. I know this is very unique for all of us at this time, but um, we wanted to go over the rules because it's very important to camp. Wait, we're missing one. Yes, I think we are. Hmm. Oh, Barry said snaps and heart reacts only. So I know we're on Facebook, but if you're at home and you like what somebody has to say about one of our questions for today, you can feel free to snap or rub your hands together if you want to get more into the camp spirit. I know I'll be doing that as well. And the last rule Joe wrote in, she said, what happens in cabin chat stays in cabin chat, where at this case, whatever um, happens on Facebook kind of stays on Facebook. <laughs> Exactly. Thank you, Joe, for that last cabin chat rule. I think we've covered all of them. Once again, we have the one mic rule, 
but feel free to comment and respond on Facebook. No responses, but feel free to snap, rub your hands together, like or love what people are posting. Challenge by choice, you can feel free to answer, but you don't have to. And then what happens in cabin chat will stay with all of us here at camp, okay? All right, so that's it for me. I'm now going to pass the microphone over to my friend, Chelsea. Take it away, Chelsea. Thanks, Morgan. And shout out to Sharon. I see she's here. Um, <laughs> all right, so before we get started with the question, now's like a really good time to feel free to light a candle or turn on a fireplace with adult supervision. And it's a really good time to get comfy. Maybe you have your favorite stuffed animal, favorite blanket, or maybe you're wearing your favorite slippers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we hope you enjoy this time to unwind, think, and reflect. So the first question for Cabin Chat is, what is the best place to hide during a game of hide and seek? So let us know in the comments and we'll shout you out. Can I go first? Yes, please. My favorite place to hide during hide and seek is in a closet. Um, but specifically a closet with lots of shelves. And I like to sneak right in under the bottom shelf so that I can pop out and scare whoever is trying to find me. <laughs> I love that. Marg, you have one? Yes, I do. I really, really, really like to hide behind curtains in homes. And then I stand really, really tall and stiff. That way nobody can see me moving. And they have to be soft. Very soft curtains. We have some comments coming in. Dennis says, in the attic. Ooh. Scary. Ooh. <laughs> says, Under the bed. Oh, wow. That's always a good spot. I like a scary one. Yeah. Kate said under the table. Ooh. I wonder Is which like usually a tablecloth that you hide under. Oh, like no. table. I feel like you would need a tablecloth, or else that you would probably be found pretty quickly. <laughs> oh, Gail says in a closet with a lot of things so they can't see me. Very true. Maybe like a good storage closet with a lot of stuff inside. For sure. Oh, oh, in a trunk. I never thought about that. <laughs> Tommy says, I just wear my camouflage shirt so nobody can find me. Very smart. I think I need to invest in a camouflage shirt now. Oh, I like this one. Maggie said, in a pantry so that there's snacks. <gasps> Lots of snaps for that one. Snacks. I what kind of snacks. She would have. Joe is cracking me up. She said, "I um, <laughs> she went hide in Kevin Rice's backyard. She's been here for days, and he hasn't found me." <laughs> Joe, that is amazing. Kevin, uh, you have to start looking. No, <laughs> hopefully he's listening in. <laughs> oh, Steph likes to hide behind the couch. That's always a good spot. Good one. Darren says under the covers. He does like to hide under covers. I know <laughs> that one for sure. That's a good spot. Then you can just take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bailey under a rock. Ooh. Shout out to Bailey. Flip that rock, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe said, not funny. It's very cold. Hopefully you get found soon, Joe. <laughs> Oh, Maggie told me her favorite snack in her pantry. She said goldfish. Very good snack. Jesse said that she heard Steph likes to hide with her dog Casper oh. so that they can t color together because he stole her markers yesterday. That's true. That's, he's a very snuggly um, hiding partner as well. I'm sure he gives good snuggles while they're hiding. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I wish you I had. have such creative ways to hide. I wouldn't have thought of half of these. Me either. Amazing. They're all very, very good. Hmm. I'm trying to think of other places I would hide. Yeah, if you if you want to say your hiding place, this is probably gonna. We're probably gonna move on to the next question in about like ten seconds. 
Ooh, Maggie said in a closet wearing a coat on a hanger. Oh, very good. Top notch timing. <laughs> oh, and Casper says hello. Hey, Casper. <laughs> These are all such wonderful hiding spots. We'll definitely have to use them when we play a game when we can all be together again. <laughs> all right, we'll give everybody a little bit more time if you have any other spot that you would like to share or you'd like to hide. And then we'll get ready to move on to the next question. When I was little, my brother used to hide underneath our porch in the dark. When I would come home from, um, like, school or work, he would pop out and scare me, and it worked every time. Oh, no. <laughs> that is terrifying. It was really scary. <laughs> All right, Annie, I think everyone might be ready for the next question. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? All right, everyone. So um, our second question is, we just want to know what your favorite memory is from the Whole New Walk Game Camp. So that could be with the hospital outreach program, the camp out program, um, a summer session, a family weekend, or um, if you're just learning about camp and joining um, in on our virtual programs, that could be your favorite moment as well. Um, Chelsea or Morgan, would you guys like to start us off? Yes. So one particular moment that comes to mind is during the summer session at Carnivardi, one of my campers painted my entire face and I had no idea what she was doing, but it was really fun. <laughs> That's an awesome one. There are so many that come to mind, but I think one that really stands out is the first time I ever climbed the tower. And I remember I was really, really nervous and scared because I didn't like heights. But I had all of my other camp friends and counselors and everybody cheering me on. So with all their support, then I was able to climb all the way up to the top and then zip line down. So I felt like I was flying. It was so awesome. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> um, all right. We got some stuff rolling in over here on our chat. Audric says woodworking. Wood, woodworking is really fun. The wood shop is all, like one of my favorite places on camp. It's just so fun there. Um, we've got Slime Day. Oh, fun. <laughs> slime Day is always a good time, uh, especially when you leave covered in slime. That's how you know you had a good day. Filio. <laughs> we have also known, I think, as Unity Day now, right? Yes, I think so. I think so, yeah. They do a lot of fun, silly activities involving the campers and, and counselors, like the Oreo challenge or other silly things. Steph said taco pins. She is known for those. It's so much fun making a pin that has a taco on it. Yeah, who doesn't want a taco pin? Right? <laughs> uh, Jesse said there was a bug in our room, and I brought it outside to protect my friend Chelsea. Aww. Really good friend, Jesse. <laughs> oh, Sharon said she loved the talent show. So I think she's referring to our stage night event, which is so amazing where all campers and everybody can go on stage and show their talent in any way that they want. They can tell jokes. They could throw whipped cream in somebody's face. They could walk across the stage and say nothing at all. Whatever they want. <laughs> oh, and... Emma said her favorite part is that she met her two best friends at camp. Oh, Billy and Will. Those are the best camp stories right there. Mm -hmm. um, Leandre says recording playing the violin in the studio. Oh. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, we have a really cool recording studio where you can go and record yourself singing or playing an instrument. It's really, really awesome. Uh, let's see. Gail said that she loves being in the playroom at the oncology clinic doing crafts and joking around with all my little buddies, which is something we can all relate to, right? Yeah. Definitely. Good time. <laughs> it's a good day at work when we, we laugh and have fun. Simone said she loves doing flash mobs during camp week at CHOP. So CHOP is a children's hospital down in Philadelphia. 
and flash mobs are very fun to be a part of. Mm -hmm. They do a great job at those. (laughs) Uh, Shannon said, when I worked at Gala for the first time, I got to meet Alec Baldwin and thank him for supporting camp. So that's our supporters, like, who help us run camp are really important and close to our hearts. So thank you to everybody here and um, just in general, who's ever contributed to camp and supporting our mission. (laughs) And going off that, our founder, Lisa says she loves learning all about Paul Newman. XOXOXOXO. That is a good one. Greg said sleeping in a yurt and waking up to fresh brewed coffee. Like, I have to say that's one of my favorite memories from camp. Um, so what Greg is referring to is Hero's Journey, which is a program for um, participants who have aged out of their um, summer camp program. And they go on to this. It's a transitional program, essentially, where they learn a lot of wilderness first aid and other life skills that really can take them um, amazing places in life. Mm-hmm. We have so many awesome comments coming in. I just saw that Jeremiah um, wrote that he loves catching fish in Pearson's Pond. And that makes me think of Weepy, which is the very famous legend that we have at camp. So if anybody has ever come close to catching Weepy, shout out to you for that. Let's see. Oh, we have an X-Pro. Is someone's favorite? Is Jordan's favorite? Expo is a time where you can um, go down and make your own pizza and hang out and play games like card games. Um, Or you can even fish down there too off of the dock. And Steph said, having a place where I can truly be myself. Oh. Joe said, a camper worked patiently on a birdhouse and wood shop every day, kept hammering a nail into it, broke it, pulled it out, hammered again, Bent it, never angry, never quit. Ended up making a three-story birdhouse and called it ours. He exemplified all campers never quitting. I love them all. Aw. Wow. Nice memory. That is a beautiful memory. All right. So if you guys want to send in um, your last-minute answers, we're going to start wrapping up soon. Um, we got a couple more. Matthew said the pool and the French fryer. Oh, the French fryer. The French fryer. It's so cozy and warm in there. Whenever you're done swimming, you can go in and warm up. Yeah, great. <laughs> great memories at the pool for sure. Jesse also said this past summer we went to boating and fishing but went fishing with goldfish instead of bait. It was spectacular. (laughs) Jesse, did you guys catch any fish with goldfish? I would love to know. Right. (laughs) And Jordan also mentioned boating and fishing. She likes when she sees people catch a fish and then they get to kiss it before throwing it back in. That's one of my favorite parts. (laughs) (laughs) Very stinky and slimy, but worth it. (laughs) Jesse said they caught so many fish with goldfish. Wow. Pretty wow. We got to take notes on that one. I think I'd have to take the goldfish from Maggie's hide and, hiding spot for hide and seek. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> and maybe the last one could be Alexia said, I love arts and crafts, a place where I can express myself through art in so many ways. Oh, that's a really nice one. We love that. Awesome. Us here at Hop definitely um, can relate to that. So we love that you love arts and crafts just as much as we do. Yeah. All right, you guys. So thank you so much for sharing your responses. Cabin chat is one of our favorite things to do at camp. And we are so glad that you were able to come and share some time with us to do this on um, Facebook. So cabin chat isn't only a tradition that we can do at camp, but you can also continue this wherever you are. Um, I know we're spending a lot of time with our loved ones right now, so this might be a really fun way to connect with the people you're with. Um, From all of us here at the Hole in the Wall Game Camp, thank you for tuning in and joining us today. Remember that camp isn't just a physical place, but it's a feeling that we carry with us. We hope that this experience with you um, will stay with you throughout the day, and we can't wait to see you guys all back here tomorrow for some Wacky Wednesday fun with Emma. See you guys. Bye.
guys. <laughs>